This is my harp. Under my photo on our school leaving freeze, it says, Lucia Kazimirova, harp. Everyone thinks it's some sort of swear word, so people swear at me. You harp. <laughs> To be a member of something big, to take part in something great, this I understood in the orchestra. It is a huge event for all the musicians who play there, and when I had a chance to perform with them, I felt how amazing it was when a young person connects with other young people, mates, and they can create something huge, something beautiful. I was a very shy little girl who went to play the harp. She had her own life. I like maths. I went to maths competitions and I was very different from others, maybe because people tend not to like maths. But really, I was a loner at secondary school. In the second year, I was elected class president. When I got this position, it was the first step towards doing something for others. I got credit from schoolmates for defending them. We also call it the voice of the class. I asked how someone as shy as me could speak for my schoolmates or express the ideas of the class. It is true that I was afraid of it, but in fact, I saw it as a challenge. When students of the fourth year left, we elected the new chairman and I became the vice chair of the student school parliament. So, again, it was another step in my life. When various offers came to our school, like courses for active students, that the chairwoman was not able to go to, she sent me a text message. Lucia, please, go instead of me. So I saw for the first time that something like the Youth Council existed. And I had the opportunity to try a course for the first time as a student of the second year. I was surprised by what was around me. I listened to the ideas of the Youth Parliament because there were members who were founders of the Parliament at the time. They invited me to a council and maybe half a year later, the first offer I had was to go to Belgium for youth exchange. Six people could go. The topic was the environment, which I'm interested in. So I called my mom and said, hello, mom, can I go to Belgium in the summer? I was 16, so naturally she was worried about me. So I actually went to Belgium. It was my first experience when I, a young person from Preshov, encountered something like youth politics and had the possibility to use advantages which a young person has, to be there and to see a beautiful country. The Youth Parliament in Presho is here, or should be here, to translate and defend the interests of young people in the city of Presho. I felt that I could shape school life, as I could organize and co-organize various activities. I started to realize when I became a member of the Youth Parliament that I was going to a higher level and I could help shape and make life more beautiful, more active in the city for young people. We helped at the days of the City of Preshov event, a city festival, or on April Fool's Day, when we had the chance in our jammies to make the day more beautiful and fun for people. Then there were some other activities, like the first day of the school year. 
Everything was done in cooperation with City Hall. There were possibilities to sample something different in the city to organize something which actually happened. There were our events created in the youth parliament. The most important one was that we gave young people the chance to vote in an electronic way to choose European members of parliament. So it was real youth politics. I can only say positive things about Lucia because she's a very intelligent, kind, hard-working girl. She's very clever and has very good know-how. Lucia helps many other people. Many times it was not profitable for her, but fortunately she did it for them to help them. Lucia is a person who can see the bigger picture. She can manage every impulsive and overactive member with a lot of spontaneous ideas. She can give the necessary advice to him or her. I was a member of the youth parliament in the beginning, then I became the vice chairwoman, and finally, after two years, I became the chair, which I held for three years. Nowadays, I'm its coordinator. My task is to help the chairmanship to coordinate the activities which the youth parliament in Preshov creates, to give my experience, which I gained during my activity in the youth organizations, to others. I see her as a girl who has gained a lot of skills and knowledge. She did not merely take the view that, OK, you gave me something for three or four years during my secondary school, I learned a lot, I achieved a lot, and now I'll leave and use it for my own benefit. She gives it all to others, she tries to make herself more perfect. When you meet her, you don't get the impression that she is older than you. She's better, or you're a child to her. She was talking to me as an equal. I saw the prize bridge in the category of young leader as a prize for what I did during those years. I didn't realize it was something more, something special. But I said to myself that somebody saw it, it helped someone. I am a student in the third year of the Faculty of Management in Preshov now. Just after I started studying, I decided to use all my experience gained in the youth parliament or in the youth council. I wanted to help students to make their lives more beautiful. I found others like me among the students, and we created something like a student's parliament, which we called Students' Council of Managers. A spojili sme myšlienku a skutočne sa nám podarilo vytvoriť taký ten študentský parlament, ktorý sme si nazvali Študentská rada manažérov. The main aim is to shape life in the faculty in order to be more interesting for students. To not merely be boring studying, like I only study and that's it. The life of a university student is rich, but we want to show that studying can be colorful too. First member, second member and third member, these all are equal people. They can exist individually, but if they all unite and go for the same goal, they want to do something beautiful, just then something like this can be created. I 
I have a desire that, like young people in an orchestra, we could unite in one amazing composition, that all of us in the youth parliament and members of other organizations unite to create something great, because only people in a team can do great things. Thank you.